Jamie, one game to go. How are you feeling about the challenge now? Well, it's people keep asking me, but it's I suppose the answer will come after the game. Really, I mean, I just want to concentrate in the game, look forward to it, get my ticket sorted, and uh, hopefully get a win, and then I can you know look back on it and then maybe give you a better answer. Have you at any time reconsidered retirement, or has Brendan asked you to reconsider? No, no, not really. We, we've had a couple of chats about different things over the season, really, not just since I made my decision, but. You know, the more I've been in the team, the more I've wanted to you know, stick with my decision and, and go out playing. And I've been quite fortunate really that the timing and when I announced it, I've, I kept myself in the side and I can go out playing, which is something that I prefer rather than maybe if I stay another year, maybe be in the stand or on the bench or whatever it may be. You know. What then would be the best moment in your, your Liverpool career? Istanbul. No one beat that, will it? You know, Champions League final. You know, no point going over the game. I think we all know what happened that night. It was, you know. Difficult to wear, have a top now. What was it like that, that feeling to on the night as, as well? That feeling <coughs> to lift the European Cup? Well, I don't think in the game, I mean, this may have never won the league. It was a disappointment, and if we'd have won that, maybe I could have compared the, you know, the two. But, you know, we've won FA Cups, Carlin Cups, UEFA Cup, but, you know, not compared to the Champions League. It's the biggest and best trophy that you can win as a footballer, really, in, in club football, and, you know, that's what we achieved. Given the step that you're making after your football career, does, does this rule out management? No, I've never ruled not, not an out or not an in really. You know, I've gone down this road for a couple of years, see if I enjoy it. And if I do, you know, I'll have many good at it and uh, I'll see what it takes me. But no, I think, I mean, listen, I've been playing football all my life and looking forward to doing different things and, you know, see what it takes me. And how emotional will you be for them at the weekend? I won't be crying, put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that? No. <laughs> so, are you, are you somebody who might have a, a wish you could have <coughs> when you retire? I wish you won the league. You know, but you, you know, you've, you've given everything. You've, you've done as much as you can in terms of what you put into it. You know, it's a team game. It's different managers, coaches have helped you along the way, and you know, you do your best, and you know, I've done all right. Obviously, you've been part of a gang, but a really close knit family, I suppose, for all those years as, as well. Um, that's going to be a big part of your life. It's, it's suddenly going to change, isn't it? Yeah, the people at Liverpool and, and people automatically think of Anfield. I think of this place really. This is where you come every day. This is where I've been coming since I'm nine years of age. So Anfield's sort of the, the icing on the cake where you go at the end of the week or every couple of weeks. You know, it's special, but you know, this is where you come every day and the, and the people you see, the people on the gate, the girls upstairs in the canteen, and on reception who is the only one who's been here longer than me. She's she's just uh, pit me, but. No, it's probably coming in, and as I said, the, the characters and, and the people you meet every day, and you see, you're gonna, you're gonna have to fill that void in your life. Will the door still be open for you? I mean, do you, do you plan on maybe coming back, or do you want to see? That's day? Brendan Friday, I think. It's up to him, is the boss? Would you like to bob back in, or what? What in your mind? Yeah, not really. I think once you're done, you're done. I don't think anyone really likes people. Listen, I'm, I'm sure I'll be welcome to come for me lunch one day or watch a train or something, but I don't think it's something I'd be doing now. And in terms of, I know they'll take time off in terms of what you're doing but you still have big gaps have you got other stuff that maybe you want to do you know get on the golf course or go scuba diving or nosy something? this fella isn't he <laughs> 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 I don't know I don't know <laughs> take me back to the moment you first realised you made that decision that it was time to go oh, 12 months ago it was the end of the season I'd I was in, the, in and out the side with, with Kenny. I was thinking about it you know, in the summer, but I, you know, I had a year to go, I was a new manager coming in. And uh, <clears throat> I knew then, I knew it was always going to be my last season then.